Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Christy with Anchor Life 5. This is um, another part to my Traveler's Notebook tutorial session. Um, in the first one, um, I showed everybody how to, or how I made um, my covers for my notebooks. Um, and how I made the front cover, how I measured it. And then how I um, threaded this side right here with the elastics and how I made this closure. So one thing that I like to do in all of my traveler's notebooks is make shaker pockets. Um, personal preference, I like to do it. I add it in some, I don't in others. Um, I'm definitely going to add one in this one. This one is very um, bohemian. And just a reminder, here's the the paper pad um, that I that I used photo play paper um, by Rhapsody Tracy Smith and I did get it from Hobby Lobby um, it was a kit and I love using the kits because it just comes with um, you know it comes with all this paper it comes with cut aparts and it comes with stickers um, and I just love it so um, just with these colors and with the theme of this notebook I definitely want to add um, a shaker pocket. So, um, what I this is how I do my shaker pockets. Um, I have these little um, what are these called? Plastic sleeves, uh, page protectors that I got from Target, and these are okay. Where's my ruler? Okay. These are. five and three fourths by eight and three fourths. So these are actually perfect. Like I said in the first tutorial, I am not about measuring, um, just not my cup of tea. So <laughs> what I did was to make sure that this was a good size and I wouldn't have to do too much cutting, um, is I folded it over and I just kind of, kind of eyeballed it and I'm like ah oh, look at that that is a perfect size for this one so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a shaker pocket um, with another pocket and then two more large pockets so the first thing I do oh I am so sorry um, is I'm gonna get out my paper trimmer turn it the right side and I am going to cut off this side right here. And I'm just going to cut to where it is fused right there. Um, and that way this side is already good to go. And I don't have to worry about closing it. There we go. So now I have an opening right here. And since I'm going to make this double, I'm going to need to open up this side right here so I'm gonna go right to the fuse part and I'm just gonna cut it so now I have an opening on both sides there we go and then um, you're gonna always or what I like to do is I like to grab a piece of cardboard because if you do it on your mat um, like a rubber mat it is going to fuse to the mat so I fold it in half and like I said I just eyeball it and it always just comes out fine fold it in half and now I can see my little line right there the most important thing to remember um, I have a we are memory keepers fuse tool and as you can tell it is well loved um, trial and error is you have got to let this thing heat up I always leave mine on for at least 10 minutes before I even touch it um, and then even sometimes after that I still have little places that didn't quite fuse my recommendation leave it on for at least 10 to 15 minutes before you even begin to think about fusing anything um, it did my fuse tool did come with this 
ruler, which is awesome. You don't need it. You can use any um, kind of ruler. I would suggest using a metal one though, because like I said, if you use plastic, um, you run the chance of it fusing to it. So I'm just gonna lay it a little bit behind my line right here. And I'm gonna start and I'm gonna go slowly and I'm gonna press down hard to make sure that I am fusing it all the way through. Excuse the dogs in the background. There we go. Um, what I like to do also is I will go through here and I will put my hand in there to just see if I can feel it coming apart at all. And this one looks like it is fused perfectly. All right, and then for my shaker pocket, um, I went ahead and I picked out these different sequins um, that kind of match with the colors of my um, paper. So I've got this pretty purple and this pink. I've got a silver and then this color blue and this color blue. And I'm making a mess with it. Okay now, to fill your, your pocket, some people use spoons, some people use other things. I just kind of dump <laughs> and go from there. I like mine full, um, personal choice. So I'm gonna add some of this one. My silver, a little bit more. Let's go ahead and do some of this pretty pink. I don't have a lot of that, so I'm just gonna fill it up. And some of the purple. And then some of this. Okay. You can kind of mush it around um, just from the looks of it. I'm gonna add some more of the um, silver. Ah, there we go, we'll just dump it all in. So now to, to close it, make sure I'm in frame here. Lay it down, make sure your um, sequins aren't popping out. Put your ruler close to the edge. Don't put it right on the edge because you do have to give a little bit of space to fuse it. I'll take your fuse tool again I wrapped it around my camera and like I said I go slow and I press down really hard start right on the edge and just go slow and press down hard Always, always, always double check. Double check it, shake it to make sure nothing is gonna pop out of there. And that looks like a good, a good one. Ha, huh, perfect. And then just kind of take it, kind of mix it all around to get all those colors going. And there you go. So you have your shaker pocket over here and then you have your open one right here. And when we add this in, I like to add my shakers right in the front. So I'm gonna go around this first notebook right here. Pull it through, and there we go. Look at that, absolutely perfect fit. So we have this side and then over here then we have our pocket that we can fill with other things. All right let's go ahead and do this um, this other one. 
So once again, we're going to take it and we're going to cut off behind the fuse part. And we have an opening, and so we need another opening right here. There we go. I'm just going to bend it in half. Make sure that it's even. All right. I guess it would help if I was in frame, huh, guys? All right. Pretty close to our bend. And press hard and slow. There we go. Once again, make sure that it is it is fused. I just like to run my fingers across it. Um, what you can also do is if these are two pockets, if you want to make more, fold it, and then just fuse like this, and you're going to have four little pockets. So there we go, and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add this one in, and I'm gonna find that extra band, there it is, that I had, and go ahead and add that in. And there we go, and then we have two more pockets. So there we go, guys, this is Another step in the tutorial on how to make a TN. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Go ahead and like and comment. And don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, bye guys.